Oh, let me check, let me check, let me check. Oh, uh... Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, yes, we do have four minutes until showtime, ladies and gentlemen. So please, if you can, TP your friends, families, enemies, frenemies. You know, just, just you know, your random people. TP everyone that you can. This is a very... This, I'm going to tell you right now. This is a very important show that you're going to miss if you don't... You know, that your friends are going to miss if you don't TP them. This is the, this is the, the calm before spring fling. Also, I forgot. I got some word that, uh, I don't know. I think, uh, I think I jumped the gun earlier. Because I forgot that li that Lily basically took, like, a beating before. Yeah, I think she wasn't, like, you know, medically cleared. Like, before, you know, to even go spring fling. So, I don't even know. I mean, it's all, it's all up in the air, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know. That I mean, it can happen. It doesn't need to happen. It, it's it's just up in the air. You you know me. I like jumping the gun. I jump the gun all the time. And I've never paid for it once. You know why? Cause I'm always locked and loaded. Ain't that right? Damn right. Camera key knows what's going on. As oh wait a second, we we have two minutes until showtime, ladies and gentlemen. So please, you know, just get everyone over here so we could just you know get this show started. Cause once that once that screen lights up like a Christmas tree, you know what to do, ladies and gentlemen. You want to get those gestures out of those red boxes to the left and right of me? You want to unpack it, load it up, get ready for that spam, and just, you know, just keep going, just keep clicking, keep clicking, keep clicking, just keep going crazy. We want you to hear, we want to hear you, we want to hear you go wild. You, we want you to, you know, we want you to just get into your inner craziness, your inner chaos, if you may. I am back. Had and to make welcome sure the, back. I had to make sure the Bozo production made sure they set me down a Dr. Pepper. Okay, so, um, wait a second, are you going to be joining me at commentary? Why in the hell else would I be sitting out here at this commentary table? Do you think I'm sitting out here for my health? Um... Not to sound like a smartass, but uh, I actually, I don't know, maybe? <laughs> I'm <Or> just what? saying. <laughs> Jeez. Eh, everybody hates oh. me. No, I had to come here to do community service for vandalism. What the hell did you vandalize? I mean, did you set a car on fire or something like that? I haven't done that in years. But I did take a crap ton of shoes and strum over Slam City, so I have to pay for that. Oh, I thought that was a chaps. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, looks like the screen has lined up, so let's see you make some noise!
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hawk's Indulgence. This is your captain speaking, Captain Falcon. And I'm alongside with the special guest commentator for tonight. The Black Panther, Rosalind Grace Rage. Now let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be an excellent show for tonight. As our ref for, for tonight, Misere. And she's getting ready. So you know what? I say, you know, we just, you know, just go right into the show. Let's just, you know, go crazy. And yes, this show is full of grace and rage. Basically, this is to fill in what's left of the card for Spring Fling. What all do we have for Spring Fling so far? Other than the fact that I get to take on a weirdo in a cage. Well, besides your Hell in a Cell match with Anarchy, I believe we have a couple of matches also. Like, we have the team of Izzy and, and Dream taking on Maxine and Alexa. And that's going to be a pretty damn interesting match. We just don't know what's going to be. And uh, looks like the lights are going off. Huh? What's this? Oh, wait a second. I know who this is. She made her debut a few weeks. Uh, she made her debut, I believe, like a week ago on Indulgence. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, Siva. I'm tell you right now, this woman is... She's not from your ordinary neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. And I believe she has something to say? Oh, uh, oh, you mean, yo, you mean me? Um, uh, yes, yes, okay, okay, okay. Let me just pass you this mic. No problem. Hashtag, I am not Alex Shelby. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so excited to be here. As you all know, I'm new here at Hawks, and and I know I have a lot to prove to all the ladies in the back, but I can't wait. And I would like to to announce my match in the Spring Fling coming up. I would like to have a tea party with Hadley the Hare. Ooh. So, I can't wait for that match. It's going to be a tea party match. I'm going to a tea party and catch up on the time. So, I guess that's all I have to say. Thank you very much, and I'm heading to the back. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Ziva come out here and declaring that she's going to want to have a tea party with Harley. And from what oh, I've you mean heard, the little, you mean the little bunny rabbit that 
that I faced a couple weeks ago. And what the hell is a tea That's... party match? A tea party match, from what I'm getting from production, is like a table match, only set up for a tea party. So, <laughs> that's going to be very interesting. But yes, it's, it's, yes, she's going to be facing the Harley, the rabbit that you faced a couple weeks ago. Weird. I could have sworn I fed that rabbit to Mystic. To who? Somebody else. You don't know Mystic, my precious baby. Uh, I, I, not, I'm not sure that I want to know. But uh, oh, wait a second. Uh oh, <laughs> looks like uh, someone's got something to say, and by uh, looks of it, looks like it's the Fate Weavers. Yay! The Freaks of Nation. It looks like Izzy, Anarchy, and Dream are out here. And what is it? Anarchy has a barbed wire bat. Um. I, I'm, I'm not going to want any of this. Am I supposed to clap for her or something just because she's got a bug boy bat? SHUT UP! Commentary cut our music! Alright, Jim says, as you all know, Izzy and I have a match this Sunday at Spring Fling against Maxine and Alex. This is something that has been long coming for Maxine. I promised a little over a month ago that I would put an end to her ways and see that she paid for what she has become. However, Izzy and I got to talking, and she told me about a little problem that she's been thinking about. Izzy, care to explain? With Maxi and Arcana, Alexa was the ref. And, well, they decided to pull a quick three count with my foot on the ropes and cost me my title. Well, that ain't gonna happen again this time. So last week, at Indulgence, Izzy has gotten our amazing general manager, Wolfie Kessel, to sit down with us in an impromptu meeting and address this situation, and I think we came to a very reasonable solution. He and asked for him if we could have a special guest referee, we didn't care who it was. Just wanted somebody unbiased. And fortunately, Mr. Kessel agreed that it was necessary to do this in order to prevent any outside interference. And to make sure that this match was called fairly and right down the middle, we will need a biased, fair referee. Well, who is this ref?
The only problem is, we didn't know who he had picked. Initially, we, su we suggested that he do it, so that we knew it would be called right down the middle. I mean, after all, we weren't completely sure that anyone would really be able to take on this huge responsibility. Until this afternoon when Mr. Kessel called Izzy and told her ha told he had found someone. And now, we finally find out who it is. Yes, I did receive a call from Mr. Kessel. And he told us we'd find out tonight here on, uh... Indulgence, so, um... Production, can you hit whoever's going to be the ref's music? Because I kind of want to find out. What about you, Dream? I'm kind of curious myself. And ditto goes for me, and... Holy hell! Uh, are you serious? <laughs> holy shit, it's well, Vince Easterwood! Well, you wanted to unbiased, and you got the most holiest man known to SL Wrestling. <gasps> yes, we <you> did. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> the cars is going on until the Well well well, Maxine. Looks like your past the catch it's like your past is catch up with you. I distinctly remember you telling me about a problem you had in the past with a certain former hardcore champion. And in the best interest of the match, you got Vince to be the special guest referee for the match. Apparently, someone took a page out of your book. <laughs> oh, see you on Sunday, Maxine and Alexa. And Maxine, remember, you did teach all my moves. Wink. Well, it can go two ways, but uh, Vince is a straight up honest man, and will make a fight fair. That's true, the church boy is perhaps the most unbiased person ever, and that but is if a correctly huge... Remembered, but if correctly but... remember, he was also burned by Maxine. So Ooh, uh, that's it's pro probably before my time. <laughs> oh, well, still, I, I think either way, uh, Vince is going to do the professional, honest thing, and actually, you know, and actually ref it fair. All right, but uh, that was that was a bomb dropped. Let me tell you right now. But it looks like we are going to be going right into the first match. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see, who's gonna be our first match? Let's see, let's see. Ooh, there we go. Alright, so introducing first. Uh oh. Wait a second, I don't have any. Uh, you wanna take over, uh, Rosa? Did you forget your folders in the back like a monkey? I did and Oh, wait, wait a second. It's Fury! <laughs> wait, uh-oh. Fury? <laughs> yep, the fiery Fury one as she goes around and juggles. Has anyone seen Derek Holt? I see him in the arena. Uh. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I'll see you, Derek. Apparently, somebody forgot to give me stats for people. Maybe she'll... Okay, apparently she's 5'8", weighing in a, uh, a total of 130 pounds from Las Vegas, Nevada. She is furry. Fury. <laughs> See, your stupidness, your stupidness is rubbing off on me. Jeez. So pathetic. Hey, 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 hey. I, I, I'm not the only one. And ladies and gentlemen, introducing next. Looks like we're going to be having someone, Sandy. Never mind, it's Sandy, bitch. Oh, so you mean she's from the sand and she's a bitch? Interesting. I've never seen that before. I have no idea. So apparently, she's and... from parts unknown, Wyoming. Height of six inches. And apparently, it says for her weight, none of your bitchiness. That makes no and absolute sense. And she's wearing an eye patch. So she's a pirate. How great. We have demons, we have freaks of nature, we have cats and everything, and we got a pirate! We got a stoner, we got a country bumpkin, what else? Fox we have a pyromaniac, we have a, we have a lunatic, <laughs> we have, dear god, we do, whatever we do not have, we're bound to get. Maybe Fury will pull a Lilith and burn the ring down. Oh god. That will be a bad day. It's happened. Box Arena has burned before. It looks like uh, Ray is uh, making sure that our wrestlers are ready to go. And Fury puts out her flames saying it's all Traplamis. I think she's very sincere. And there we go, as the bell rings, it looks like Fury and Sandy will be on their way as Fury comes out just rolling towards Sandy, showing off that speed of hers like she does almost every time. And Sandy over here with, okay, so you can juggle torches, now can you roll over and play dead? I don't know, can you play dead? Uh, no, I can't play dead. I can't play dead. See, then you need to absolutely go back to school. And, oh, Sandy bitch with a hard slap. Do I call that a bitch slap? Oh I don't know, but it looks like Sandy is right, going right into a wrist lock at Fury. And it looks like, oh, wait a second, Fury is starting to do her flipping around as she flips Sandy right, the, right back to the floor, setting her down on the mat. And Fury's like, don't be rude. <laughs> it's not rude. It is wrestling. <sighs> Some rookies these days. It uh, looks like uh, they're going back into a lockup. I don't know if this is wise for Fury. Oh, it looks like Sandy just threw it to the ropes and... Oh, face full drop kick. <laughs> By Fury. <laughs> And Fury just throws Sandy right to the corner after she basically did a yay. Yay! And there she goes with a big boot right to Sandy. I, I, I guess you have to call that a yay boot. Never mind, Sandy went for a big boot. Ooh, never mind. I read that wrong. It looks like Sandy's climbing up to the top, to the top turnbuckle. And Shed Bear. 
you try commentating. Oh, wait, you can't. You have no voice. Anyway, they're gonna send him with an elbow job, but he misses. But she misses. She misses as Fury just rolls right out of the way. It looks like Fury is picking up Sandy right now. And she tosses Sandy as Sandy goes right to the ropes. Here comes Sandy as. Ooh, she has a hard shoulder block. Oh, and just stopping away at Fury right now. That ain't nice. That ain't nice. Not at all. And Sandy tosses Fury to the ropes and oh, come back with a hip toss. And there goes Sandy as oh, Sandy with a fist drop and Sandy misses. As Fury gets up athletically, uh oh. Fury has a hold of Sandy. As she kicks Sandy right to the gut. Right there goes Fury as she hits a nice Hurricanrana. Running one at that. And she goes for a pin. That's a, it's a one, two, and no. Only a two count. And it looks like. And it looks like ref it, it, uh, it looks like Fury is trying to yell at the ref saying, That's not cool, dude. I really said like that. What are we dude. at some kind of beach? Apparently we are for face off against Sandy. As so Sandy mm -hmm. hits Fury with a farm club as she gets runs to the ropes. Here comes Sandy bitch and no oh, right into a jump toe hold on to the ropes. Poor Sandy. Nice counter. Indeed. And Fury say poor Sandy Cheeks. Wait a second. Her name's not Sandy Cheeks. Yay! And Fury it's say yay. The yeah, term yeah. for a female chick in surfer talk is bra. You say bra and bra. Oh. There goes Fury for pin and no, only a two count. No cookie for you. <laughs> yeah. And Fury, and Fury's saying, "Gosh darn it!" Yep. Fury's making me say names now. What a mouth. <laughs> oh, hey, it looks like Fury looks like she's going for a suplex. And wow, she was able to lift up Sandy, but whoa, wait a Sandy counter with a nice DT. And it looks like they're both out of it, as the ref is seeing if they're both okay. Oh, the ref is always starting her 10 count, she starts at 1. It's a 20 count, you numbskull. I thought it was and 20 Hawks, count only. It is a 20. It's 20 count. Hmm. I thought not it was only 10. 20 count outside. I thought it was only 20 count outside the ring, though. Not as in, you know, knocked out. Oh, it looks like they. They go out. At, up. Yep. Let's dip both up. Although I think Fury bit off more than she could chew. Does it go straight into a lockup? Oh, yeah, so this match looks pretty even. As here comes Fury. And oh, leaping shoulder block by Sandy. Interesting. Yeah, she uses her feet like a springboard, and it looks like Fury is is rolling out of the ring. And you okay, Fury? You have to think about it, though. With the type of person 
you're dealing with. You have to rely on some kind of oh, strengths. Oh, 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 wait a second. What is this? Sandy's Chase of Fury. <laughs> oh my god. What are we playing? A kid's game of tag? I don't know, but it looks like... Wait a second, I think Sandy's trying to, trying to switch, and oh, Fury just went right to the ring. I was like, Sandy is like, oh, oh no you don't. Oh, and there goes... <laughs> oh, Fury kicking Sandy right to the gut, and oh, followed up by Eirik. And she slides right out of the ring again and it looks like, wait, what's she going for? Oh shoot, she hit the Dragon Runner! She's going for the pin! One... Two... And three, ladies and, and gentlemen! three! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner for tonight is Fury! Jerry made that look easy. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Sandy, but yeah, Fury made that look damn easy. Oh, would it be hurt? No, oh, and it looks like a. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the wrong way, Fury. Come on now. Why does she remind me of a... Uh, uh, I'm not even gonna mention it. The quick that to us, I'll even. Oh, it's like Sandy is just a bit dazed right now. That's a uh, Sandy Beth more than she can chew. I don't know. You okay, Rosa? You still a little tired. Just a little bit. Because... If you're mean, you're being pre and you're preparing for Spring Fling, if you're in a Hell in a Cell or any kind of match, the one thing that's going to be on your mind is training. Training day in oh. and day out, especially if you have something for high stakes. Well, but it looks like we're gonna be greeted by Maxine Darkwatch as we hear her her song. Thank you. So somebody did the gesture for me. And here comes Alex. And there are times that the self-righteous become more heinous than those that they claim to be the ultimate evil. But, just what is sin, might we all ask? What is right and good? <laughs> Hi, isn't that the question in the gun with the silver bullet? You go and talk to a man who is obviously enamored with himself and a skewed version of what is right and fair. To ask for another fatally flawed human to be fair and unbiased when he himself doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground when it comes to what actually goes on between th those of us at Hawks. As we've not seen his nose sticking out from his bowl until the last 
few weeks. Not only that, but you girls, Izzy and Dream, go inside with someone who is proven without a shadow of a doubt to anyone here or elsewhere that he is as biased as they come. Ladies and gentlemen, need I present to you again the so-called savior of professional wrestling. The Hellion himself, Vince Easterwood. <laughs> it's funny that you yourself need to ask that question, my dear. Sweet Alex. <laughs> you were one of the ones wrongfully attacked by this so called infallible officiant. However, <laughs> to be facetious, I will enlighten the unlettered of those amongst us as to the gravity of his sins. Turn back the calendar to November. Remember, remember the 24th of November, gunpowder, treason, and plot. It was on this day that it became evident of the papist cruelty that was set free to roam here without bounds. It was on this night that the truly repugnant occurred in the center of this very ring. When your so-called unbiased officiant proved his lack of morality by absurding the rules that govern this station to create his own, when not once, but twice, Yes, that's right, twice. He sped the count to deny us what was our divine right in the Demolition Derby Battle Royal back at Dangerous Curves. And yet you two seem to mention yet another particular match a long time ago. Where I used Vince myself in my stupidity. He clearly showed bias when he passed me the parachute so I didn't fall off the balcony and break my own little neck. And, or have to resort to voodoo or crawl to the catwalk myself in order to save it. And here you say, he's unbiased? And yet you mind this rabble seem to think he is so invaluable when the proof is in the fact that he, like the rest of us, is only a human being. <laughs> yet why? I ask you all, <laughs> why do you think he is saved, yet we are damned? <laughs> it wasn't all that long ago go, that you all worshipped the ground I walked upon and exalted my every move. <laughs> Not a thing about me has changed. But why am I the one you claim damned? My dear Alex, 
Alex we'll says, you do know that you can't fix the stupidity of the rest. Then again, does that really matter? My dear Alex, we will talk in depth on this at a different date. Regardless, Sunday at Spring Fling, Alex and I will walk into this ring, the free, the simple and ignorant, so that need, they need not be seduced any longer by Papist, toiling against all the odds that Hawks may lay down upon our weary and overburdened shoulders. So that that, which always will be mine, can see. Where home truly lies. Let's go, Alex. Very interesting build up by Maxine Darkwatch as she claims that Vince is not as unbiased as everyone else sees it but we're just gonna have to wait until spring fling to go see and that damn that gave me chills you know and this is from seeing the past few months actually this is from seeing since i've been in hawks the very first day i haven't seen that in vents i really haven't unless i haven't paid attention most of the time vent stays where like, if his user's on it, it's not for, like, evil doings or anything. I know him as a biased person. Because that's what I've seen him as. He's a church boy. The church ninja, for God's sake. So I call bluff that he's gonna do anything. Oh, uh, hold up. Wait a second. Someone hit the lights or something because out comes the showgirl, your Hellcats champion, Kendra Chemistry, as she's alongside with Miss Misty. Want me to throw a parade? Uh, I, I don't know. I'll just say that she looks good. That's it. Men. I'm sorry for being the guy. Um, I believe you have and, two uh, legs uh, let me and an mic. arm, so you, you can walk your happy-go-lucky ass to this commentary table and get your own damn mics. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> the little worm doesn't know the attitude that she's getting into. I'm just going to, you know, that's between you and them. I'm out of this. I'm, you know, I'm Falcon. I have no use for them. And it looks like Kendra says, A couple of weeks ago at Scorn, you saw the birth of WMD, and we are a force to be reckoned with. Misty says, Any tag teams here? Pussies. Ooh. And you have only just begun to see this destruction we will cause. Alright, Misty says... Fate Weavers, oh. pussies. Boots and sluts, pussies. Jesus, do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Yeah. And the kid just says, that's fucking right. 
in. Aww, isn't that real cute? The little bitch is trying to get smart. Still, and you're me. just useless. And me, as your Hellcats champion, I've defended against all challengers for 67 days and counting. Ooh, maybe we should throw a parade. Will it have balloons and candy? Whatever. I think I'm going to take the night off of Spring Fling, as no one could possibly be much of a challenge to me, especially since we took out Lily Martinez out of the picture. Oh, wait a second. Does that mean that uh, that mysterious person that was in that video was one of them? And Kendra's just smiling at Miss. Oh. Missy saying, hmm. And wait, hold up. We got someone's coming. Wait, what? Hold up. That's Lily's music. Wait a second. Wasn't she like. Was she like taken out a couple weeks ago? And Kendra's going, oh, what? You gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. And here comes Lily with Mr. Crossways. Is that Mr. Cross? That's Kendra's lawyer. Dear God, Ken Lily is using him like a freaking rag doll. And Ken just going, God damn it, Lily looks phenomenal. And it looks like uh, Diane D is just going crazy as Lily says, I'm afraid I got some bad news. Can just lawyer speak? I'm afraid I've got some bad news. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. And, and Miss Costa says, Hello, Miss Kendra. I am terribly sorry about this. Jesus, he's shaking his boots. Can just go, What? You see, you, um, may have a little problem. Oh, and Missy is going right to his face. Same problem. Wolfie is very mad. Very mad. That you tried to take out one of his top competitors. With that, that being said, um, and Ken just going, ha 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 ha, very funny. And Lily's just cracking her knuckles as Misty is just all up in Mr. Crossman's face as he says, Kendra, as of today, Lily Martinez is magically cleared to complete. And holy shit, Kendra just blew a fuse and she's saying, What? This is bullshit! It's supposed to be laid up for another month! Those fucking doctors I play off are D E A D dead. And Lily's going, Am? Kendra's going, Kendra's going just crazy. And Mr. Carter said, You'll and be defending says, your. And? Yeah, and Mr. Cosmo says you'll be defending your Hellcats championship in the main event of Spring Fling. Oh boy, and Misty uh -oh. against Lily Martinez. 
And Kendra's just going crazy saying, oh, this it is looks correct. like you have to give up your nice, pretty little vacation, sweetheart. Yep, as it looks like your vacation is now at Spring Fling against Lily Martinez. As Lily saying, the only difference is Kendra. This time? I am the one with the plan. And trust me when I say this. A plan to be dead. D E A D. Dead. Uh oh. At least saying, not only will you see me become the first ever three time Hellcast champion. Wait, wait, hold up. Hold up, hold up for what? But I have, but a, I special have a special surprise. Really? I can just, just go and keep chirping. You want blood now? You got it. Wait, what? And holy shit, there goes Lily just sending a vicious clothesline to Mr. Crossman as Lily. Ooh. Lily just basically laid out the lawyer. And WMD is just going crazy. <clears throat> Hashtag dead lawyer. Ken just saying, see you fucking Sunday, bloody Sunday. Well, that is. How many matches do we have so far? No. Oh, a whole lot, as it looks like Ken just. Ken just just going to town on the lawyer, as. Actually, WMD is going to town on the lawyer. Holy shit! And. Fuck! Yes, that is a very, very smart plan to kick your lawyer. That's going to work like out so much in the end. And Missy's just going to town on them. Both Missy... So, someone got stopped. They're about to kill this guy. I would, but then I'd have to break a nail, and I don't want to do that. Oh, wait, I don't care about breaking a nail. Either way, I'm not allowed to it, catch it, um, and should someone stop this? I mean, they're beating up a freaking lawyer for God's sake. Uh, wait, 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 what's this? So then get in there and do a little bit of ref work and pull them apart. You're a powerhouse, you can toss them out. Uh, I, I think they're done. As can't just say, let's take out the trash. I thought they were the trash. Yeah. I don't so know, but it looks like the out. lawyer is fucking... I don't know. I have no idea. That lawyer is done, though. Well, if the lawyer like, is straight smart, up done. he'd probably dump them as clients. So that makes it how many matches now for Spring Fling? Let's see, we've got a triple threat of Honey Blinds versus Stacy Grace versus Misty? Pretty much, uh, we have <laughs> Izzy and Dream versus you Maxine versus Darkwatch and Alex. We also have now uh, Kendra Chemistry versus Lily Martinez in the main event. The, we have, are well, yeah, thank you for reminding me of that. Me versus Anarchy Fight Weaver in a Hell in a Cell. And let's not forget, there's actually also a... We don't exactly... Um, if I'm correct, we don't exactly know what kind of match, but we do know it is a certain kind of cage match as well, of Lilith, the demon, Lilith Aftermath, versus Arcana. We got that as well. And we have... Uh, now as well, Harley versus Seba. Yeah, and I believe we're just going to hear much more as, you know, let's uh, just take a moment to go for our sponsors. 
Rosa, you want to start off? Uh, I kind of don't have the paperwork for sponsors. No can, problem, can, I'll just... Can, can I read off yours? Yeah, 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 don't worry, don't worry. I got you, Rosa, I got you. As you want, I'm, can... I'll, I'll start, I'll start first. So, new okay. sponsor, Raging Grace Photography. We do pictures for singles to couples, family pics, kids pics, adult pics, those sexy hot under the collar pic photos, themes, even pics for families. Our pictures have reasonable prices, even packages. Standard rate, 20 linden per pic. Want to know more? Contact her, Rosalind Grace Rage, or Piper 730 Vincent. Future Based Wrestling Gear. Future Based Wrestling Gear is a new vendor located in the Hellcat shop area for animations and boots. Future Based offers high quality tights, high quality mesh elbow, elbow pads, and knee pads, and most importantly, high quality mesh and fitted mesh trunks varying in many different sizes and designs. Contact DD the God resident for more details and for custom work. XTC Radio, a sales community-based rock variety radio station, now featuring live DJs. We now offering advertising opportunities, community event appearances, as well as live events. For more information on how to advertise on XTC Radio, contact our market de department, Ophelia Autumn, or our station manager, Stravic Resident. TyrusSanova.blogspot.com The blog by Tyra Serevi. If you want to find out all about your favorite wrestlers, check out the blog by, blog by Tyra. With over 40 wrestlers already interviewed and more coming soon. I am Tyra Serevi for more information. Wildfire! Did you catch that attention? Team Wildfire is one of the lean veil production groups on Second Life that makes blazing veil entrances that will leave you breathless. And now, Wildfire is offering live streaming classes on the weekends at www.twitch.tv slash team underscore wildfire. From behind the video scenes to music editing to absolutely everything. So come check it out. For more information on details on classes or entrance videos, contact the Firebird, Lyra Phoenix, or yours truly, Captain Falcon. Team Wildfire, blaze your mind one video at a time. DWRT, please join us on Fridays at 2.30 p.m. SL time for Digital Wrestling Roundtable, featuring all the news that is news around SL Wrestling. Their studios are open on the island of Misfit Wrestlers, where Kurt, Ronma, and Lilandra keep you informed of the hot topics in SL Wrestling. For more information, please contact Kurt Bombastic, Ronma Yoshira, or Lilandra Lancaster. Honey Blunt's Designs for all those hippie trippy moments in and out of the ring. Also, specialized gear to make sure you look good in that ring. At most of your favorite wrestling federations and Excellent Central, please contact Clay Blunt's residents for more information. Abyssal Nico Designs. Ladies, if you're looking for some awesome mesh that you don't need to shrink your boobs for, check out the sexy, de sexy designs at Abyssal Nico Designs. On the career simp, contact Lilandra Lancaster for more information. Also, Hawks t-shirts are for sale. Men's, women's, jackets, t-shirts, hoodie, hoodies? Brought to you by Hunbus Designs and Abysmo Nico Designs. Check out the Unchin shops to show you support for Hawks. Also, like our Facebook page, check out all the information happening here in the Hellcats Arena there. Also, ask management for a Hawks fan tag. And remember... Hawks is like PBS. It's pawned by generous donations from fans like you. Please drop a donation in the tip thermometer located to the wall to my right. If you would like to sponsor Hawks, click one of the ad boards on the wall or contact Honey Blunt's residents for details. And ladies and gentlemen, that has been our sponsors for tonight. Bills are paid, and let's get ready to move on to the next match. So, and ladies don't and forget that Sunday is Spring Fling. That's right, Sunday Spring Fling. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? For what? You know, for anything. For it's 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 indulgence. It's hawks. Anything can happen. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Let's make some noise. I believe that. 
I think I think you put him to sleep. I think so too. And introducing first on her way to the ring, she is the Firefly, Kaylee Carter. She's alongside Katie Carter. Ladies and gentlemen, now these two are very, are very, very interesting. I was just saying how interesting these two are. Kaylee and Kaylee. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you take this one? Huh? Yes, no, maybe so. Uh -huh. Do you want me know. to introduce this next opponent? Oh yeah, go ahead. Go right ahead. She weighs at a height, she's at a height of 5'7", weighs a total of 127 pounds. From Heritage Essex, UK, she is Justine Time. Awesome! I'm not gonna lie, I like a little UK in me. Wait a second, that sounded wrong. That song never gets old. That's very interesting. Uh, let me focus on a match here as a uh, as our opponents gets ready. I was like Justine is ready as uh, Kaylee is also ready. I don't know is the ref ready? <laughs> ref must be ready. Now, I've seen Justine in the ring, but I've never seen Kaylee in the ring before. I've seen Kaylee in the ring. She is very, she is pretty damn fast. I have to say, almost as fast as you. I think Justine uses a bit of... She tries to use a bit of high flying. And then... Daring. Well, I haven't seen Justine much over here at Hawks, to be honest. But it looks like uh, she has a she's already in a lockup with Kaylee. And it looks like Kaylee is a high flyer as well as Justine. Indeed. Oh, it looks like uh, Justine had her oh. hemlock as she ooh. Yeah, Jesse, to the leg. Yeah, Jesse is just laying away at uh, Kaylee right now. Yeah, wait a second. It looks like Jesse has her right at the corner, but uh, never mind. It looks like K 
Kaylee is starting to push Justine. And Ray telling him to get out of the corner. Kaylee having Justine in a headlock. Followed by Irish whip. Uh oh. And ooh. And a sh ooh. Ow. That's a nice shoulder block by Kaylee. Uh oh, here comes here she comes as ooh, right into Justine's dropkick. That's all right. And Ooh, Kelly coming back with a kick to the gut. Hmm. Oh, let's say goof. Kaylee with a nice headlock takedown. Nice submission move to use there. And you know, it, it depends on how much you've got your opponent worn down to actually make this move successful. I've That's learned true, that as... over, the, over the past months. That's true, as it looks like uh, Justine is getting a, a little bit more power as she tried to go for... It looks like she tried to push uh, Kaylee off, but Kaylee just ensuring that side headlock. And Kaylee is just taking her down again. And oh, whoa, wait a second. Justice go for pin. One. Uh, and only one count. You gotta be. Interesting. Well, sometimes okay. when doing that at a certain at a certain period in time in a match, it really depends on making that pin as well as successful. But the, being this early in the match doesn't surprise me that it was a one count. You've got yeah. to wear down your opponent as much as you can before you actually go in for the pin. Right. It looks like uh, Justine is right on the driver's seat. Uh oh, and it looks like Kaylee's go for a wrist lock. Who is just striking Justine right in the back of her arm as she just tosses Justine to a corner? Kaylee could do a lot of moves from here. I don't know. Oh man. And it looks like, uh, ooh, nice chop by Kaylee. Shot. Oh boy. So I think this here is like. It, I think uh, this is Kaylee's favorite move. Um, good one. Yeah. Ooh, nice net breaker. Most of the time, certain people have certain areas that they like to attack on their opponent. If you're a person who strategizes, you'll go for the weakest part on your opponent's body. If you're like me, you go straight for the head and try to give him a headache. <laughs> Oh, it looks like a. Did you go for a count? One, two, and no. And only two. Oh, man. 
Yep, only two. Oh, looks like Kaylee is starting to pick up uh, Justine there. Ooh, Justine with a nice kick to gut. And another belly to belly suplex. Hmm. Uh oh. Looks like a Kaylee is getting up, and oh, she just shoved off uh, Justine as she lands right in the. Uh, wow. The, the gates. Pretty. Yeah. As nice as she she landed. Yeah. As like as I said, she landed right on the gates of uh, heaven. Exactly. Respect the JJ. Nobody ever respects the JJ anymore. Seriously. Hey hey hey! I was I respect it. I respect it definitely well. I like to pay. Yes, but there, there, there's a few who don't respect the JJ. Ooh. And Justine says, Oi, right in the crumpet. <laughs> oh, God. Hmm. Do you know... It... it Kayla stomping what? onto Justine and picking her up. You never know. Now, I do have to say this. Of what I heard in the crowd over here that Justine might be out. I don't know. I've Ooh. never seen Justine give up that easily. And yeah, there goes uh, Kaylee doing an uh, inverted how drop. Just staying on the... Uh... The the windows of yeah the yeah just the windows the windows yeah that's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> huh. uh. Yes, she did. It looks like Kaylee is stalking and waiting. Ooh, Ooh nice clothesline. And a clothesline just as Justine got back up. I mean, this this tip up to be an excellent match right now as Katie's going for a pin. One, two, and no. Uh oh. Looks like Kaylee is picking up uh, Justine. It looks like she's a bit frustrated at that. Oh, I reckon high knee from Justine. And picking Kaylee up and Irish whipping her to the corner. Ow, that really hurts.
Mm. Ray telling him to get out of the corner. Ooh, and Jesse with a snap suplex. And looks like Justina is getting a little bit ahead of herself, taunting, which is never a good sign. Ooh, Shining Wizard. Ooh. Ah, that really hurts. Oh man. Oh wait a second. Ooh. That's the Oh wait a second. Leaf Ooh. On the wind. Kaylee, go for that leaf on the wind. And Sees just stomps as Justine is turning around. An exhausted pin. One, two. And three. Oh, three. Ladies and oh, gentlemen, wow. your winner, Kaylee Carter. And the sportsmanship, Kaylee saying, good job, Justine. Definitely, no that was an amazing match. match. That was, that was really good. And Justine saying, oi, you too. Justine waving her flag proudly. Uh huh. She might need to go put ice on the vajayjay. So what else we got? Oh, you know what I just remembered that we forgot to mention? Alright, let's see. Hmm? Forgot to mention that also at Spring Fling, there's going to be a tag team, another tag team match of Eminence versus Overdrive, which consists of Crystal Neutron and Isabel Martinez versus uh, Uri Lawrence and the Gamer Girls, Sybil Halsey. You forgot to mention that. Ha ha ha. See, you're slipping on your job. You have the paperwork uh, over there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yes, it is. Thanks for reminding me. And, and what is coming up on the screen? <laughs> I know, we have a great lineup, and... Uh, the one thing I don't know is I, I don't know how we're going to de decorate it this year. I mean, I think the last time we used real flowers, I think well, uh, is... some. Go ahead. Well, yeah, because I was gonna say we had all the flowers last year. I mean, why not do something different this year? Well, I don't know. Knock, knock, motherfuckers. <sighs> Come in, uh, Nick. Oh, well, hey, Wolfie, how you doing? But first off, good uh, to see you. Doing good. We're kind of in the middle of something. What's going now, on? I, I know, I know. I, what's this I hear about Misty being in a triple threat match when she should have had a title match? What the hell is this, Wolfie? Come on. And why am I just yeah. finding out about it today? 
yeah about that um let's put it straight i'm getting sick and tired of her uncontrollable behavior and just wreaking havoc all over hawks all right Wolfie. I, 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 under, I can understand that, Wolfie, but you know how hard it is to try to get her to listen to me? I mean, I, you know I have been trying my ass off to do that. Yeah, you well, know I've been trying, and she, it's hard for her to listen to me. In fact, Wolfie, she has not even returned any of my phone calls this week. Well, you I've need, been trying to get in to talk with her about it. You need to get in touch with her and try to control her as much as you can, because I'm not going to have this... Where she's running amok just because she's not getting what she wants, okay? If she, hey, if hey, she, what? no, if she would have been much more behaved and not running amok and beating up on the on the wrestlers here, she would still have that title match, okay? My no, decision. I know what it is. You're afraid she might actually win. That's what it is, Wolfie. You're afraid she's going to actually win that match, and you don't want her to have the title. I see where you're coming from. Nick, it's not about who wins or who loses the title. It's about trying to keep control. Obviously, she's out of control, and you're not helping. You're I... Wolfie, I am trying to help. I have been trying to help that woman ever since I started managing her. Okay? It's not my fault that she's not listening to me. I'm, I ha Like I told you before, I have not been, even been able to stay in contact with her because she doesn't return my phone calls. I have tried everything I possibly could, and hopefully if I see her tonight at Hawks, I'm going to try to have a conversation with her. I'm doing all I can, man. I'm well, it's not, I'm, you know it's, I'm trying. It's not enough. Okay, what she did two weeks ago with Stacy, and what she did last... The last time, last time on Scorn with the uh, Overdrive and Bongs match, I'm getting sick of it. I am getting sick hey, hey, and tired they, of it. They pissed her off. It's not my problem. Tell them to not piss her off. That's all I can say. She I mean, shouldn't I, have I interfered in that match in the first place. Hey, number it's, one. Hey, it's, it's, you try controlling her, Wolfie. You try controlling her. You are her manager. It's not an easy job. No, you I are her manager. It's not an easy job. God damn, I am trying. <sighs> No, I'm trying, Wolfie. Tyler, what do you, what do you say about this? Oh, hi. Well, obviously, I think she... Oh, no, oh, oh, Go ahead, Nick. Go ahead, say Shut it. up, Rookie. Shut up, Rookie. Your opinion means nothing to me. On the contrary, Nick, his, op that job. No, his opinion means just as much as mine. Okay? Wolfie, I've forgotten more about this business than he'll ever know. He is a rookie in this business, and it is an insult to me that you lo overlooked me for him. Okay, this is not about your job. This is about trying to control Misty. Okay? Alright, she's running yeah, amok. His opinion means nothing to me. No, he, she's running amok, and I'm getting sick and tired of it. This guy actually super kicked Misty. He deserves whatever Misty does oh, to him. Oh, bullshit. Okay, okay you know what, Hardeman? Hardeman, you listen to me right now. She you put her up. hands it's on me. No, 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 no. Oh, I will you not. Super kicked no, no, no. And, and, and no. Girl, Tyler, if you super no. kick, if you uh -oh. attack one of the you know what? I swear to God, I swear to God. All right, both of you. Both of you. Shut up. Okay? Nick, you either control her, or if, if me or Tyler finds out that something happens between now and her match at Spring Fling, she would be terminated immediately. Do I make myself clear? Yes, but what What if Tyler provokes her? Or somebody provokes her to do something, Wolfie? What if that? Have you thought about that eventuality? I think not. Nobody is provoking her. Well, what if they <sighs> Just... do? What if they do? What? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just throwing out a s situation here, Wolfie. What if they do, and she was not the first one to attack? What's, what's going to happen then? Then I right now, clear. that, 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 that will be your problem. Okay. How if she, if, if she okay, okay, okay. Listen, her. listen. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Listen. If she is provoked, then fine. You can take it with me. All right. But I don't want to find out that she laid out another wrestler. All right, and hey, I have to deal with all with all this. Hey, Wolfie, 
if she ends up fired, I will personally beat the shit out of Corvus. Because it'll be his fault. As it always is. Nick, we're now, done Wolfie, here. I have nothing against you. It's Tyler I have the issue with. I... I have I nothing understand. against you. All right. Yeah. Nick, just try to control your client. You think I'm not trying? Okay. You honestly think I'm not Nick, trying, Wolf? Okay, Nick, no, uh, Nick, just do it. Okay? Try harder if need be. Because I swear to God, I'm going to. If she doesn't control her ways, I'm getting a freaking straight jacket myself. Do you understand me? Don't. Hey, you can do that, Wolfie. She'll just shove it right up your ass. I'm sorry. What? That's a, how well, Misty will. That's, that's Nick, how Misty is. You know that as well as I do. That's right. I know that, and I. That's why I need you to control her as I'm much. Trying. Do whatever it takes. All right. Now, please. Discussion is over. And you, rookie. You try to stick your nose in my business or Misty's business, it will be your ass. Mark my words. Good day, Wolfie. It was nice talking to you. Tyler, go fuck yourself. Put your car sleep, Wolfie. Tyler? Tyler. Just calm down. Alright. Now, what were we talking about? Well, about the decorations that we're going to do by spring flying. Okay. And we're going to try to change it up this year and stuff. Okay. All right. Wow. Well, that was one heated discussion. Uh... Well... It looks like a, if well, Misty... Uh, well, go ahead. I, I don't think it's going to be possible for him to fuck himself. I don't know, but, but it, as, as, yeah, as the video says... Maybe there should be a peace treaty fire in the middle of the ring. We all sing, hold hands and sing Kumbaya. So much hatred. <laughs> Jesus. But, but yes, as the video said, if Misty touches any wrestler... Then basically that match is done. That match will be called off immediately. And oh wait a second, here comes the uh, boots and bongs. Oh yay! It's my sister! How joyous! Oh, come on now, she's she's all cute and uh, and uh, hi, Stacy. What's up, Hobag? They can never return any kind of phone calls. Okay, wait a minute. That was not my fault. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah, yeah. You see? Uh, you see yeah. how unreasonable on, my both... sister is? That's the reason why. I stay on the side I am, and she stays the country ho she is. Uh, yeah. And there goes... As Honeyblood says, how y'all doing tonight? Oh, Lord. You're gonna make me do it, aren't you? Yes. 
Wait, 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 wait. Whoa. Wait. Oh. Whoa, what about a bug? <laughs> That's, okay. I still find that funny. I, I found that hilarious. She can't touch any of us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> uh. I, I just know Missy can't touch us. Aww, too bad, huh? I bet she really wants to. <laughs> I wonder what she's doing back there, if she's in back there. Hmm? <laughs> I bet she is gritting those teeth ready to come out. But guess what, Misty? You can hear me. <laughs> if you touch us... <laughs> bye bye. Oh man. Uh, it looks like uh, Boots and Bonds are just provoking Misty and all oh, no. though. Here she comes. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, she cannot touch a wrestler. If she touches a wrestler, she. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 hold on, Misty. Hold on. No 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 no. no 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 you can't touch us <laughs> Do you wanna get fired? Uh, oh you wanna wring my little neck, huh? Do ya, really? Misty says I'm going to wring your necks. <sighs> well, guess says what, Misty? Misty? <clears throat> guess what, Misty? Guess what, guess what, guess what? You can't touch us. <laughs> As yeah, as Huddy said, not till Sunday. <laughs> I consider oh, her damn. family anymore. <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, she says I will eliminate you, Rosa, every damn member of the Grace family, just to make sure you're finished. Fuck your flowers. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, that's just hilarious at her thing, and she's going to be able to take <laughs> me out. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that is God. hilarious. <laughs> she doesn't realize. I don't, she... I don't know, Kend I don't know Kendra. Can she save it till Sunday? Because <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing her go. <laughs> hey, Misty, guess what? <laughs> 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 oh, he says, man. wait, did you provoke me? Of course I did. Oh, <laughs> That's right. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sissy, as much as I love you, that was a dumb move. That was a stupid yeah. move. You just provoked hey, her. Hold on. What? And Missy says, you forgot the part where they said, if I'm provoked. But still, if you touch us, guess what? <laughs> no, you provoked me. Eh, well. it doesn't matter. I'm dead, okay. Sure. Hey, hold up, hold on! Uh-uh! Uh... <laughs> it looks like Ken just step in the way. <laughs> oh! And while my sister keeps making her stupid <laughs> move, I'm gonna answer this text. Hello, guys! Yeah. I'll see you all Sunday! <gasps> Bye, Misty!
And Ken just says, save it for Sunday. <laughs> well, it looks like we almost had a, a deer. We almost had some type of death sentence. And it looks like Misty saying, you, my title. I think she's about to explode. My livelihood. Everything. Yeah, she's gonna fucking explode. And she says, I can't take it. What do you mean she can't take it? And wait, Misty, here comes Nick. Misty, Misty, oh. stop right now. Get down here. Get down here. And now. Listen to me, Misty. Misty, do you want to be fired? Wait. Misty, stop right wait. now. Listen to me. Wait. Listen to me. Wait, 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 hold, wait. Think about it. Misty, 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 listen to me right hey, now. Hey, hey, listen hey, to hey, me. Hey, 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 Put him hey, down. Hey, 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 Put him down. Put him down. Please, please, let, 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 Put him let, down. Nick, 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 please, please. I'm trying please. here. I'm trying, Falcon. Jeez, give me a minute here. Hey. hey. But, Nick. Misty, Nick, Misty, please. think about this. Please? Do you want to have a livelihood? Do you want to have a career? Hey, if, you, hey. if you hurt him, you very well could have neither. Think about this, Misty. Don't do something <laughs> stupid. If you get fired, we're not going to have any part thing to do with you. Okay? I'm, just a commentator. I'm telling you right now, don't hurt him. Please don't hurt me. Yes, Misty. Misty, Listen don't to hurt him. Please don't, don't hurt, hurt him. Me. No, please. Don't Put him down. down. Put him down. Please. please Misty, please, uh, Misty, uh, put him uh, down. Uh, put him down. Uh, uh, put him uh, down. Uh, 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 God damn it, Misty, come on. You heard what please. Wolfie said? It's just saw what I was. Come on. Please. I'm Listen to us, Misty. Yes, Misty. Listen to them. Let him go. <sighs> can, can you please put me down? This hey, can't uh, be uh, happening. Uh, this uh, can't uh, be uh, happening. Uh, Nick, please. Uh, uh, Misty, um, I got... Misty, my, don't got make me candy. use the clipboard. Misty, I got some candy. Missy, uh, Missy, uh, uh, if you want some candy, I'll give it. I'll give some to you. Uh, uh, Missy, unless, uh, unless you stop know. it right now! Do not make me clipboard you. I will. I will do it if I have to. I will do it if I have to. I will not hesitate. Uh, oh dear God! I'm running away. Get get me the hell out of here. Oh dear God! Really? Chicken shit. Misty, Misty, we need to have a team talk. Now, You're ex I am not happy with your behavior. You need to sh you need to get it in check, m little woman. Because if you don't, I don't know if I can continue managing you. Okay. You are one of the best up and comers in this business. You are working your way up to the top, Misty, and you're gonna throw it all away by hitting him. Really? Think about it! Yes, Misty. Listen to him. Don't do anything Save stupid! Yourself, Misty. Because if you do, you won't be in this company anymore because of your own stupidity. And you'll have nobody to blame but yourself. You know I'm talking some sense here, Misty. You know it. You just don't want to admit it. And we have a lot to work on, but we will get your temper under control. And we'll get it focused to where it should be. Inside those ropes, when the bell rings. Let's get out of here. I'm disgusted. Well, that was very interesting, and yet at the same time,
living. Hmm. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is another edition of Indulgence. My commentator ran like a bat out of hell because he's a simple chicken shit. Captain Falcon, I'm the Black Panther, Rosalind Grace Rage, and we will see you all Sunday at Spring Fling. Have a good rest of the night. Oh, and as you remember, don't forget, Spring Fling is at 1 p.m., not 2 p.m. And if you come here at 2 p.m., well, then you miss a show when you're at dork and I get to make fun of you. This video was filmed on location by Zarakan Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions, and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.